Continuing on in developing some efficiencies or did you knows about uh, small little things inside of Destiny Estimator, specifically in this case, the estimate view, I want to draw your attention to kind of a repeating technique that are in other videos is that with so much screen real estate or with uh, one monitor, screen real estate is very, very precious. And so if I have to scroll all the way over from left to right, it, it, it's uh, hard. And then in addition to that, I can't see all of the text. So a really cool technique is any column header. And you'll notice that the column headers highlight. You can right mouse button click on any column and you can select in the context menu best fit for all columns. And that spreads everything out so that it is a lot nicer to see what it is uh, we have as far as the text within each of those columns. Also, and we've seen this in other videos, is we can take any column header and we can start tearing it off. So in our example here, let's say we don't need the unit reference at the moment. So as I start tearing this off, I get a red circle with an X. I can release that and it puts it back into the column chooser. Created by, maybe I'm not interested in that at the moment. Create date, I might be interested. The alternate unit format, all three of those may not be of interest at the moment. And then I can do this with the alternate name, the assemblies, you know, bid package. I might, might be interested in that one. So I'm going to hold on to that one just a moment. Skip over this and take out, say, CSI. And then maybe even master format one, two, and three. And so I'm left with the format. This is a real project. I might actually select, say, group by system. So I can group that up here. And then maybe I would group by bid package or vice versa, right? So as soon as I've selected on one grouping, I could always save this as an estimate layout with the green plus sign. I could also fly these in opposite directions. So show me bid package first and then by system. And as you've seen before, you can always tear off any column header, even when it's grouped, and release it. All of that then also goes back in to the column chooser, which is a right context menu. So right context, and then show column chooser, and all of those things like, say, system is now in here. I can search for system. If I wanted to see, like, alternate, I could have the alternate unit uh, formats or alternate name and alternate status. One other thing to be aware of is, let's say I want to take the bit package and tear that off for a moment. I can fly up unit format levels one, two, and three, and of course, group by that. Of course, I can also remove those as well, and bring them out at any point in time. 